Hi everyone. So first of all, go give the creator a shout out, okay? Uh, in this guide, I'll try to explain what I did right and what I did wrong while assembling the whole Star Tracker thing. So first of all, you obviously gotta print your 3D parts. Uh, make sure you got like consistent settings and everything. It should be quite straightforward. Uh, second of all, make sure you gather all your parts. Everything must be assembled in a specific order, so you want to get everything beforehand, okay? Uh, the first step I did was trying to install all the brass inserts and everything. Uh, this was easier said than done because I forgot most of it. But as you can see, I got a lot of them inside the parts. I started by mounting the backplate on the servo motor and also the pulley on the servo shaft. It's okay to do it, but I wouldn't do it at this point, you'll see why in a bit. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mount the bottom plate as I'm doing right now, you'll see why later. What I would do is start working on the bearings and uh, pulley assembly like I'm doing it right now. I started by cutting the brass rod to size and filing it to shape. After that, I tried to fit the pulleys. As you can see, I'm struggling a lot with it. This was by far the hardest part because of really tight tolerances. I tried contracting the rod by leaving it in ice and warming up the pulleys, but at the end I had to sand a little bit the rods to make it fit. Once it got all set, it's time to assemble it. As you guys can see, I had to disassemble almost everything that I did before to fit the pulley system. The belts do not stretch, so the installation should be done wisely. That's why I advise you to start the whole process with the bearings and pulley assembly. Once you have it done, then you proceed to the plastic parts. Do not put on the top cap. If you do, you won't be able to install the large belt. The slider thing for the belt tensioning system is straightforward. Just install a couple inserts, the toothless pulley and assemble as advised. I'm speeding up the whole process, but I'm following the official guide provided by the creator. I'll link that down below. Here you can see me install the larger bearings on both parts that needed it. I put it in the fridge for half an hour to make sure the installation was a little bit easier. I proceeded to install the large belt, top cap, bearing holders and the box lid. Make sure you get all the screw wider right when installing the lid. Also make sure you do not over tighten it. Install a few more inserts in the other parts and follow the installation as advised. Unfortunately, I screwed up and trashed the large belt, so I had to reprint it. Once I got that sorted out, I installed the pulley, the belt and the belt tensioner. That should be quite straightforward. Finally, you should put a few more inserts in the large pulley. The large hexagonal bolt should fit perfectly in the camera holder. A few more screws and you are done for now.